Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. According to latest reports, the RDO is looking for potential partners to co-develop an engine for its advanced medium combat aircraft, and five other future technologies including unmanned combat aerial vehicles. The RDO chairman Dr. Sati Shreddy has said, that an aero engine of 110 kN type is needed for the AMCA, and the industry would be enlisted at the beginning of the project, so that it can begin production as a natural partner. The current focus is on consolidating the ongoing research and development activities, and ensuring that they reach the logical end. According to latest reports, the advanced medium combat aircraft project has now gone deep into the detailed design phase. The AMCA will be propelled by the F-414 engine with a thrust of 90 kN for the first seven years till the required 110 kN thrust engine is developed in India in collaboration with a foreign partner. While the design phase has already been sanctioned to start activities, the final approval for the AMCA from the Cabinet Committee on Security is in process. The plan is to build four prototypes and fly the first one before 2025, and the Indian Air Force is currently working out the exact numbers for this fifth generation aircraft. The Swedish defense manufacturer Saab has said, that it has provided a comprehensive technology transfer program for its Gripen fighter jet for India, and it includes supporting current and future indigenous fighter programs like the Tejas Mark II and AMCA 5th generation aircraft. The Gripen design will enable the Indian Air Force to make changes in tactical functions in a very short period of time, as compared to current methods. Saab is also ready in transferring technologies for its A-26 submarines to the Indian Navy, and the details will depend on the final requirements for technology transfer. The Chief Manager for Marketing and Exports of Brahmos Aerospace has said, that the Indian Air Force's Su-30 fighter jets which currently carries one Brahmos system under its fuselage, will be capable of carrying five new Brahmos missiles in the near future, which the Indian-Russian joint venture is currently developing. The new next-generation Brahmos systems being developed by India and Russia are being developed for light fighter jets and will considerably boost the aircraft's capabilities. According to latest reports, India's indigenously developed subsonic cruise system is currently been prepped for a new round of trials, which is expected to take place next month. The Mani turbofan engine is still going through developmental trials, and it is not expected that it will be powering the cruise system for the next test. According to latest reports, the French defense and aerospace giant Safran has decided to set up a facility to manufacture parts of its sleep turbofan engine in India. The new manufacturing facility will involve an investment of around 323 crore rupees, with a production capacity of around 20,000 units a year, and the new facility will start operations by early 2020. The RDO has finally showcased its medium-weight fighter jet, also known as the Tejas Mark II, at the ongoing Aero India 2019. The medium-weight fighter jet has seen the addition of canwards, and the aircraft will now have a total of 11 hard points, which means that the fighter jet will be able to carry huge mix of missiles in mixed configuration if required for multi-role operations. The aircraft will also be equipped with long-range dual-band infrared imaging search and track system on its nose cone, which will help to identify and track fighter jets through their heat signature, and engage them with heat-seeking air-to-air systems. Hindustan Aeronautics has displayed a naval variant of the Dhruv Advanced Light Helicopter, and it has a new automatic rotor blades folding system, that will allow the helicopter to be stored on board ships.